Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series of Object DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. In our last video, we have seen how we pushed this code from our local into Azure Remote Repository. So this is whenever I'm saying remote means, so whatever you see here in the portal. So this is called the remote repository. And whatever we are working locally, this is called as local repository. Now we are going to see how we can create branches and how we can push our code in it. So why we need a branch? Let's say for example, if you have multiple developers and each of them want to contribute if everyone is started working on main branch it will cause a lot of issues so it is recommended to create a separate branch for whatever the work you are doing it make changes and finally you can raise a pull request to merge your changes into main branch we are going to see everything in a detailed way as of now just consider like whenever you are going to work anything new just create a new branch from main and start working on it so I'm going to create a new branch. Just click on new branch and here provide a name to it, future login. In this branch, I'm going to make what are the changes related to login integration. And here, if you see, it is based upon main branch. And if you want to link any work item, you can just simply select from this drop down. I'm just selecting a random future and just click on create. So this is one way of doing it. We just created a branch in the remote repository and other ways you can do in local as well. First, what you need to do is just open here, copy this path and in the command prompt, just change directory to this particular path. And first, let me list out what are the branches available locally. So let me run this. So in our local only main branch is there, get branch hyphen here which, which will list out everything and if you want to create branch here itself what you can do is get branch and the branch name you can provide it over here so this will create a local branch from here itself since we already created a branch in the remote repository i'm going to pull it so as of now if you see we haven't established any connection with our remote with our remote repository it is just showing up whatever i have it in the local so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the information, whatever it is available in the remote repository. So it is just going to get the information. That's it. So fetch hyphen all. So now if you see it is saying we have a new branch and now I'm just pressing top arrow just to pick up the last command. And if you run this now, now you get to see there are two branches and currently we are in main branch. Now let's switch to this particular branch. So how to switch? git checkout followed by the branch name so if you run it you will be switched to, to the branch as of now we haven't pulled the latest information from the future branch we just switched it to it that's it now we need to pull whatever the changes available in the future branch so in order to do it just run it so whenever you started working on it just run git pull origin from main or feature so whatever the branches you are working on it's a login and here if you see origin so what is this origin in our last video we have explained like we have set it up origin means whatever the url with this we have named it as origin and that is why we are referring it here and get pull origin and whatever the branch i want so everything is up to date now let's come over here i'm going to make some changes in our code so this is my code and let me add add a new file in it so i just simply created a html file and now let's try to push this to our remote repository so how to do that so we are almost here we just pulled everything from our future and just we made our changes and here if you see in our last video we just used git add hyphen hyphen all which added all the uh, files now i just need to pick up a specific file and how to do that git add followed by the path name so which path name will you provide so just think like this is your home folder because dot git file is there from here so what are the folders or subfolders are there you just need to mention but this is more like here so we just need to mention the file name that's it so let me copy this git add followed by the file path so login and then the file format as well 
so we just added before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to hit the bell icon super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it and i'm going to commit it so what does commit means commit means i'm just saying hey everything is done meaning like just think like you are closing a file so everything is ready to push so here hyphen m and you can provide a commit message over here so whatever you want to provide let's say for example yes we are done so it got committed now it's time to push so here if you see git push hyphen u origin and the branch name so let me copy this now let's run it so till this point there is no connection with our remote repository what are the changes we made it is just with our local so with push command only we are try going to push our code to the remote repository now it got pushed now let's go here and verify if you refresh you should be seeing the login html as well and if you go to history you will get to see what are the comment message you i just added and you can go to branches option over here to see what are the list of branches which is available and you can delete a branch and there are more options available here which we'll see in our upcoming video at this point that's it on this video we have a lot of concepts to cover so hit the bell icon and wait for my next video bye bye i will provide whatsapp and telegram channel url in the video description please do join i request you hit the bell icon so that you will get notified when i am uploading new videos follow me on linkedin to stay connected thank you bye bye